Um, Edwin Soriano! Isa pa, isa pa. One more time. Please welcome Edwin Soriano! Ayan! Ayan! Thank you so much! Uy, may sound effects. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How many of you are happy and excited to be here in the awards night? How many of you napilitan lang magpunta dito? Meron ba? Meron ba? Yeah! <laughs> Well, whether you're here, happy and excited to be here, or napilitan lang kayo dito, uh, can we give a hand to Romel? <laughs> ngayon, ngayon lang, nagkakwentuhan kami. We're sharing stories about how Romel is taking care of his health. Uh, I just posted recently. Later on, I'll share my social media. I posted this week that I was coaching a I, I was coaching a client um, some time ago with AIM. I'm a coach for AIM, Asian Institute of Management. And there was one girl, I'm quite sure you would be, many of you might be able to relate with this. Within the first five minutes of our coaching session, you know, I frame our coaching with something like this. I can coach you on strategy. I can also able to coach you in life. The same question I ask many of my clients. Would you agree that the way you live your life at home, with your family, with your friends, has an impact on how you show up at work? Would you agree? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I offer to them. I give them a safe space. I give them permission to be able to talk about life, even in the context of work, because they're here with, in coaching with me because of work and ask that person, are you healthy? Yeah. <laughs> May judgment? May judgment? Tinignan. Head to toe. Are you healthy? And health is not just physical. Would you agree? Yes? Health is also mental. Health is also spiritual, emotional. Would you agree? Yes? And sometimes you're 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 healthy physically and then in your mind in your heart in your spirit you're not by the way pwede, pwede ko bang madagdagan nabanggit na inspiring inspiro eh di ba inspiro unlike uh, well inspiro to me what that means is in spirit when you come to work are you inspired are you in the spirit of our source of the person or, or of the of, of our source are you in spirit tapikan niyo ko tabi mo tingnan mo siya spirito ba yan <laughs> or is he inspiring okay or is he inspiring thank you so much so we'll be together for around 40 minutes tama ba okay pa tayo so 40 minutes around 40 minutes and if it's okay with you can i give a little introduction na introduce na ako no? can we go to the next slide is it okay if i introduce myself a little bit more yes because uh what i'd love to do is to guide you through so this is a couple of things that i do i'm a mind mentor for quality mind um and then nagkukwento ako ni gary kanina tsaka ni, ni hazel tama ba? And uh, I was telling them that uh, I'm actually a licensee of an Australian company. They're developing the platform. And what I want to do is get their platform, use their platform so that we can spread it all around the world. That's Quality Mind Global. And through the year, I, I, I've been a licensee for one year. And I don't know why, but when, since I started joining, they kept giving me the Mind Mentor of the Month Award. You'll see that later on. Um, and yet, here's what I like about, uh, about uh, Quality Mind because it's an opportunity for us to present ourselves as the best. Everybody say, the best. The best. In, around the world, we're the best uh, seafarers, we're the best in the hospitality industry, nurses, caregivers, isama mana, domestic helpers. We're also the best in BPO. Would you agree? Yes? yes. And you're part of that. We're leading the way, and yun, nabanggit na rin kanina, I want us to be among the best coaches. Once upon a time, nagkakwentuhan kami ni Eve kanina, once upon a time, there are companies who would go outside pa looking for coaches. That's around five, eight years ago. 
and now more recently, they go outside because wala silang mahanap ng Filipino coaches. Now there are more. Okay, now there are more. Uh, and later on, we'll clarify a little bit about what coaching and mentoring is. And here's what I want to share with you. More and more, the Filipino is becoming the global coach. I believe in that. And I want to invite you to start where you are and you be coaches also for your people. How many of you are willing to do that? Are you willing? Yes. 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 And how many of you would want to learn some coaching skills that you can already apply already immediately after this talk? Okay, Bayan. Okay, Bayan. Yes. Would you want that? Yes. We'll see. We'll see. Because my tuition fee, yeah. <laughs> my tuition fee. And what's that tuition fee? The tuition fee is, for instance, ako, me, both me and my wife are life coaches. And for us to be able to coach, it's important for us to develop who? To develop ourselves. You want to be an effective coach, you want to be an effective leader, an effective mentor, an effective manager, supervisor. Where does it start? Point to the person where it starts, go. Everybody? Are you pointing at it yourself? It starts with me. Everybody, tell yourself, it starts with me. You want to be able to coach others? It starts with me. So we'll see if you have what it takes to be better coaches. Are you, will, are, are you willing to try? Yes? Yes. Okay. So, uh, so I'm a trainer as well. I'm a head coach of winning coaching. And I'm an adjunct professor for uh, Asian Institute of Management. And that's where I gain so much of my experience coaching different leaders, CEOs, COOs. CMOs, CFOs, and all sorts of O's, or all sorts of C's, oh, which reminds me, today we're going to talk about C's and how you can see things differently. Sabi nga ni Romel, from challenge to opportunity. Okay ba yan? Does that sound good? I'll share with you tips, tri uh, tools that will help you see the opportunity in challenges. Sound good? We'll see. We'll see. And I'm the author of this book. Konti na lang to. Um, collector's item na to. Kasi just last December, no busan na. So no more items in inventory. Nagahanap ako kanina. There are four more in the online store. After that, ubus na. So I'm not sure if I've given, I think I've given, I've probably given a copy to Romel. I have three copies here. How many of you want a copy of this? I love that guy. Mamaya ha, napitan mo ako that voice. I will recognize that voice. Pagka-meet ko sa kanya, hindi ko, ang, ang laki ng boses niya. Pagka-meet ko mamaya sa kanya, liit pa lang tao. No? Hindi ko, I wouldn't know if it's you or not. I will recognize your voice later on. Thank you so much, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, how many? Pero ang dami ninyo eh. Paano ba yan? Multiplication of bread na lang tayo. Pwede ba yan? So, we'll find a way. We'll find a way. I'd love... How many of you want a copy of this? Can I see your name? Yes, I see. Ayun, yung, uh, yung, yung iba ayaw. Okay lang yun. Okay lang yun. Wala namang palit yun. Wala namang palit yun. Ikaw, ba, sa boses mo ba yun? Hindi, dito lang ako. Oh, mamaya, mamaya. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, 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 I appreciate that. I appreciate the... <laughs> Sige, hanapan natin ang paraan. Is it, uh, within our talk, we'll find a way for this book to reach your hands. Okay, Bian? Yeah? Yes. Very nice. And, sige, a, a couple of uh, slides pa more. Uh, next slide, please. So this is my short introduction. This is Quality Mind. And what I wanted to share was, next slide, please. What I wanted to share is, kaya natin, makipagsabayan. I've been awarded five times my mentor of the month. Minsan, first, second, third. At ang nakakasabayan ko dyan sa award na yan is, the next slide, are people who are veterans. Ako, first year ko pa lang in Quality Mind. And ang nakakasabayan ko na si Bruce Wilson from New Zealand, a leading coach in uh, New Zealand. Si Lee Stafford in Australia. Si Adele Hartland in South Africa. She doubles up in uh, UK, London. Si Adam Ballard in Australia. We are among the best in the world. How many of you believe that? <laughs> How many of you believe that we are among the best in the world? Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah. 
you need to convince you convince mo yung katabi mo you're the best oh uh, everybody tell your katabi you're the best and then sabi mo sa sarili mo i'm the beauty some of you got that yeah <laughs> okay we're the best and what i love for you to do to, what i love the way i'd love to serve you tonight is to equip you with coaching skills that you'd be able to use for your people. Okay, Ben? Sound good? Next. Next slide. Okay, so here's where I clarify because it, this is one of my heartaches through the years. Kasi alam ko na pag sinabing coaching, sige nga, tanong natin lang kayo, pag sinabing pare or bro, iko-coach ka daw. Ano yung pakiramdam ng mga tao pag sinabi, ikaw coach ka? Sir, anong, anong, anong pakiramdam kung sinabi, may coaching ka daw, uh, Rene, Bo- Rene Boy. Rene Boy, hindi ko, oh, may ikaw coach ka daw, anong pakiramdam? Uh, parang you did something wrong. You did something wrong, kinabahan ka na dahil parang papadala ka sa gera pwede papadala ka sa principal's office tama ba how many of you ganito yung perception of coaching yeah and i hear that and medyo it's a heartache for me because that's not what coaching is okay coaching can be very loving sometimes it's tough love yes and yet uh, i'd like uh, nag-align kami ni Romel and um eh, just a few days ago and I just wanted to make sure to have the opportunity to make a correction. Okay lang ba? Pag di- i- i- let's distinguish what mentoring is from coaching. Yes? yes. Mentoring. Ang, for many people, for most, siguro 60-70% of people, when they say, coach mo naman ako, or nagpa-coach ako, often what they, refer, what they actually mean is mentoring. Everybody say mentoring. So it is not follow, it is not go to the principal's office, it is not uh, any of these, I will discipline you. It is mentoring is I mentor you, I mentor you, Rene, so that you can be better at what I do. Are you with me? Meron akong expertise, meron akong galing, meron akong knowledge na makakatulong sa'yo. And therefore, I am passing on that knowledge to you. That is mentoring. Everybody say mentoring. mentoring. Turn to somebody beside you and tell that person, Ime mentor kita. De mentor pala siya, no? Wag yan, wag yan. So mentoring. So many people would refer to, Uy, ano, nagpapa-coach ako sa kanya kasi magaling siya. So nagpapa-coach ako sa kanya so that he can teach me. That's, many people think that's me- coaching, that's actually mentoring. What is coaching? Okay? Coaching is, regardless of what, your sk- what my skills are, regardless of your role, I can coach you. So when it's coaching, I will coach you. I coach you to be better at what you do. Are you with me? So it doesn't matter kung, kung alam ko kung anong ginagawa mo at work or whatever your role is. I can coach you because what I do is I draw out from you your greatness. Coaching is drawing out the greatness in people. You can take notes. And coaching is drawing out greatness in people. So, reviewing what you've been doing in the past. Have you been mentoring people? Oh, I'll teach you how to do it. Ganito yan, ganito makipag-usap, ganito mag-organize ng team, etc. Et Have you been mentoring them actually instead of coaching? Or, maybe indeed you've been coaching them by drawing out their greatness. Two ways, actually many ways to coach. Okay? And I'll teach you some ways to coach tonight. Two common ways to uh, coach. Number one, sige nga, how do you coach? Paano mag-coach? Anyone? Sige, hindi manggaga. Number one, ask questions. Everybody say questions. Ask questions. 
para so that it comes from them. Whatever answer will, will come from them, that can be the source of insight, of, uh, not, of, of learning, of improvement. Okay? Ask questions. And I'll be giving you some questions later on. Take notes tayo para you can use it come Monday or come later. Okay? Questions. Number two, tell stories. Everybody say, tell stories. Example, your person, your direct report, boss, I know, I'm having a hard time with my client. I, I don't agree with what he's doing, etc., etc. Then you can start telling stories about the time when you might have been in that situation. And yet, there's a way of telling stories na yung story e pang mentoring, yung story e coaching. Can you, uh, you want to know the difference? Yes or yes? I can tell the story, alam mo, when I was a uh, young, ano, like you, uh, I had a, a similar experience. And this is what I learned. This is what makes it mentoring. May natutunan ako, I am passing on the lessons to you. That's mentoring. That's telling a story and it's mentoring. Are you with me? Yes? yes. I can also tell the story na, actually, ganyan din yung sitwasyon ko nung bata ako. And yet, what happened to me was like this, and uh, I needed to humble myself to see things from a different perspective so that I don't limit myself to my own perspective. And that was my experience. I tell the story with a dot, dot, dot. Tell the story with a blank. And have a kinkwento. While I tell that story, the, my direct report is saying, mm. everybody say, mm. what's happening during that? Mm? What's happening? Nagkakaroon siya ng self-reflection, sarili niyang ideas, self-discovery. That I'm not necessarily giving to him I just created a space for him to discover something from my story. Are you with me? Yes. Mm, everybody say, mmm. Oh. mga cow tayo dito. Um, oh. yes. Mentoring and coaching. Are you, are you getting this? Yes? yes? And it's okay. Sometimes you will be using the mentor hat. Sometimes you'll be using the coach hat. And both can work, depending na lang what is needed by, by your direct report. Okay? How many of you would love to learn some coaching techniques? Yes? yes? And before we even go to that, we want to celebrate. How many of you want to celebrate here? Yes? Yes. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. Ka-celebrate, celebrate ba yan? <laughs> We, nandito ka? Naimbitahan ka? <laughs> so, here's what we want to do. Tonight is a celebration, and we want to acknowledge that. In fact, the title of this book, before it was published as You Can Be Happy Again, the title of this book was um, How, uh, Be Happy Hungry. The first part of it is Be Happy With What Is. So right here, right now, you're, you're here for an awards night. So right here, right now, can I ask you to turn to one partner? Can I ask you to hold hands with one partner at the count of three? One, two, three, hold hands with one partner. Okay. Yung tatlo, ang ma uh, kung meron kang kahawak na tatlo, prayer meeting na yan. Okay. So partner lang, partner lang. Okay, good, good. Okay, sir, ma, sir, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am, yan. Okay. And then face your partner, face your partner. Go ahead, face your partner and tell your partner, Hi, partner! And this is what I'd love for you to do, okay? This is what I'd love for you to do. I'd love for you to honor your partner, okay? I honor, I don't know if you magkakakilala kayo, malamang. Kung hindi man kayo magkakilala, i-research mo na ngayon. 
So I'll give you one minute to uh, part uh, i-identify muna natin. Partner A, ikaw yung mas mahaba ang buhok. Okay? Partner A, yes. Mas mahaba ang buhok sa ilong. Okay? Partner A, every, lahat of uh, partner A, uh, pwede na magbitaw, baka magka-develop. Okay? Partner A, can you raise your hand? Partner A, mas mahaba ang buhok. Okay? And then partner B, mas maikli ang buhok. Partner B, can I see your hand? Okay. Partner A, you're going first. What you're going to do is you're going to honor partner B. Okay? So partner A goes, I'll give you one minute, and then uh, and then you're going to say, I honor you for, okay, or I honor you because, because we're celebrating everybody's, uh, everybody's success this year, okay? And whatever it is, some of it, it will be work-related. I honor you for developing the XYZ uh, platform or whatever that is. Or whether ring others, okay? I honor you for staying healthy. I honor you because... I know you've uh, developed your love life. Ayan. 60 years old ka na. Humabol ka pa sa love life. Good for you. Mga ganyan. Okay? So, one minute, partner. A, anything that is good, anything that is positive about this person, kahit yung ngipin, I honor you dahil nagpa-whiten ka na ng ngipin mo. Sige, isama mo dyan. I'll give you one minute, partner. A, Ah, and then, by the way, no, partner B. Ano ang gagawin ni partner B? Partner A, nag-o-honor. Partner B, wag ka naman. Hindi naman. Okay? When you are being honored, you receive it. What's the word? Receive. Receive it. Just say thank you. Okay? Some of you, no, some of you, and be aware of this. Some of you, you might be laughing. Ha, 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 ha. And, and then, sometimes that's a shield. Okay? And for some of us, receive. Everybody say receive. Receive. Receive wholeheartedly. I, I'll give you the cue kung kailan tayo tapos. Until I give you the cue, partner A, please honor partner B. Are you with me? Yes? Okay. Partner B, be in the position of receiving the honoring, the celebration of partner A. And partner A, begin. I honor you for. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, partner A! At lahat ng partner B, tap, ah, lahat, ah, sorry, partner B pala ang in-honor, no? Partner A, tapikin mo si partner B and tell that person, I'm proud of you. <laughs> partner B, it's your turn. You tell, the, the, sagutin mo si partner A, sabihin mo, thank you, I know. <laughs> Di ba? Tanggap. In-honor ka eh. Okay? Now we're going to switch roles because we're celebrating each other for being here, for being alive. You know, this morning, some people did not wake up. Would you agree? Yes? Oh, yung kinainitan mo, buhay pa siya. So, so, we celebrate. We celebrate the mere presence of this person. Partner B, pakitas ang kamay. Partner B, okay, it's your turn to honor partner A. If, if there were three of you, Yung pangatlo, yung admin out. Can you look for another partner? Maybe you might need to uh, find somebody else nearby. Okay. Partner B, taas ang kamay. Partner A, taas ang kamay. Okay. Partner A, your posture is a posture of receiving. What's the word? Receive. Celebrate tayo eh. So receive natin. Partner B, you're going to honor partner A by saying, I honor you for, or ang galing mo dahil, uh, I admire you because whatever that is. Okay? Partner B, it's your turn to honor partner A and begin. Going, I honor you for. I honor you for. I honor you for. 
Kikin mo si partner A, sabi mo sa kanya, honor student ka na. And partner A, respond ka, sabi mo, thank you, I know. We celebrate. Can you give yourselves a hand, everybody? How does it feel? One word. How does it feel being honored? Everybody, how does it feel being honored? Great. Happy. What else? Thank you. Love. Boy, love. Thank you. What else? Acknowledged. Acknowledged. Appreciated. What else? Relieved. <laughs> Relieved. Thank you. What else? Appreciated up there. What else? What? How does it feel? Validated. Validated. What's that? Sorry? Plus. Fun. <laughs> Fantastic! Medyo, ano, akala ko plastic. Hindi. Fantastic! Wonderful! Thank you. What else? Wow! How awesome would it be if this is part of how we live our life? To honor our office mates, to honor our family, to honor the people that work with us, that we work with. Okay? Can I make an invitation to you? Okay? Can you honor people when you have the chance to do that? Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. And it's not just at work. Can you honor your husband, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend? Okay. Your children even. Can you honor your parents? Yeah. Just a few days ago, I was sharing a story of a client. Okay. And she is nanggagalaiti. How do you say that in English? She is furious. With his, with, he is furious with his boss. And guess what? The root was because he is, as, is, he is also furious with his sister. Interesting, no? And for him to heal his relationship with his boss, it's also important for him to heal his relationship with your sister. In your life, ano yung kailangan ni heal? And sometimes, ang kailangan i-heal is our self-belief. Self-belief. So here's what we're going to do. Everybody, bring out your cell phones. Everybody, bring out your cell phones. Iwagayway ang cell phone. Okay? May mga collection boxes na lalabas dyan. Hulog nyo na lang. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a selfie. We're going to take a selfie video. Okay? Because sometimes, yes, we are honoring other people. Sometimes they are honoring us. Question, do we honor ourselves? Do you tell yourself, Pare, ang galing-galing mo, ang guwapo-guwapo mo. Pare, I love you. Kamukha mo si Enchong D. Ayan. Tagomburza. Ayan. So in a similar way that you honored the other person a while ago, give yourself that gift. Okay, Ben. Yes. This is back to basics. How can you give if you are empty? How can you express appreciation for others when ikaw mismo, you're not appreciating yourself? Are you with me? Yes? Yes. I'll give you one minute. I honor my... You can speak to that person as if... I honor you, or you can also say, I honor myself, okay? I'll demonstrate. I honor myself for being able to come up with uh, activities for this group. I honor myself for interacting with Brian over there and whatever else you want to honor yourself, okay? I'll give you a few moments to do this. Are you ready? Say, I'm ready. Yes. Okay. Uh, I don't know how loud or how soft this will this hall will be. Okay lang ba? Ma anong gusto nyo? Tahimik lang? Ay, I honor myself. Ganun ba gusto nyo? Or is it okay if you speak in a proud and loud voice? Are you okay with that? Yes. And then just declare it to yourself. Declare it to that beautiful face in front of you. Are you ready? Say, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready. In three, two, one, and go. Stop, 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 stop. Okay? Sa amuse... Sige, sige, let's do it. Wait, 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 wait
Pwede lagyan natin ng sound effect. Okay, background music, background music. So that you have your privacy when you declare what you honor yourselves around. Okay? Sige. Ano, uh, magba-background music. Another ha, another round. Honor yourself. Okay? Example, shout it out. What would you honor yourself for? Shout it out. Ang ang ganda mo, ang pogi mo. What else? Wait, hindi pa, hindi pa. Ulit. Shout it out. What would you honor yourself for? Go. Ang galing ko sa math, ang tibay ko. What else? Ang tapang ko. What else? Okay, whatever that is that comes to mind, honor yourself. Let's celebrate this. Are you ready? Say I'm ready. I'm ready. One more time. Are you ready to honor yourself? I'm a loving leader. Keep going. I take care of myself. I am healthy. I'm a good mother. I'm a good father. I'm a great manager. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Give yourself a hand. Give yourself a hand. Okay. Tapos go to ano? Go to your camera and then send, send to all. Yeah. Send to all. Send to all. Wonderful. How that feel? Shout it out. Fun. Great. What else? Shout it out. How did that feel? Really? Happy. Awesome. This is one of the exercises that we've been doing in our group in Quality Mind. This is biohacking because when you give your when you say words that strengthen you, you will feel it. Because often, close, often, often, yung iba na gets yun. Often, the words in our mind make us weak. Often. Okay? Kaya ko ba to? Baka kung anong isipin nila. Baka magkamali ako. Baka sabihin vivo ako masyado. Are you with me? And does that make you strong or does that make you weak? So here, the first C was celebrate. The second C is challenge. There. Challenge. So now, there's the next level. So back to basics tayo, no? Sometimes, iniisip natin, ano ba yung technique? What do I need to do to get that promotion? Or what do I need to do to be a better manager, a better supervisor? What do I... Sometimes, ang dami nating iniisip. And yet, maybe it's a matter of seeing things different. Right here, right now, internally, what is the challenge you are facing? Is it lack of confidence? Lack of skills. Lack of... <laughs> sleep. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's part of it, huh? How can you perform well if you lack sleep? And guess what? Bago makakamatulog, ilang oras ka nagsascroll sa phone? Di ba? May nakaka-relate ba? Okay? Yeah. Okay? So, what is the challenge that you are facing in life right now? Make it very practical. Yung super totoo. Something that makes you feel weak. What is the challenge that makes you feel weak? Okay. And by the way, okay, we're not looking outside. Ay, yung boss ko yung challenge. No, it's not that. How are you, how am I responding to my boss? How am I responding to my clients? How am I responding to my counterparts? That's what we are in control of. Question. Kontrolado ba natin ang traffic? Yes, no. Kontrolado ba natin ang weather? Yes or no. Kontrolado ba natin kung paano magbehave ang ibang tao? Yes or no. No. Ano yung kontrolado natin? What is within our control? Ourselves. How we are able to respond to what's happening. Are you with me? Yes. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Being very honest to yourself. What is the challenge? 
internally that you are facing. May ikia potensya, demotivated, easily swayed by other people's opinion. Go ahead, right here, right now. What is the challenge that you are facing? Okay. Why are we doing this? So that we know how else we can be better. How many of you want to be better? If you're not raising your hand, do you want to be bitter? <laughs> How many of you want to be better? Okay. If you want to be better, be honest with yourself. Ano yung challenge that you want to improve on? What's the challenge within that you want to become better in? Go ahead. In your mind? Or if you want to take notes, pwede rin. Kung meron na, can I ask you to give me a thumbs up? Kung meron na? Sige, hindi ko pa rin kayo makita kahit mag-thumbs up kayo. Kung meron na, sabihin mo, I. Oh, kung meron na, sabihin mo, meron. Okay, good. Okay, whatever that is, it's yours. I, I won't, I, hindi ko kayo tatanungin what it is. But how many of you would want to see your challenge in a different light? Can I see a raise of hands? Okay. I'm going to give you three coaching techniques that I use on a regular basis. Yung mga ituturo ko sa inyo, these are things that I always use. Sa isang linggo, siguro 80%, 90% of the time that I'm coaching clients, ginagamit ko to. Would that benefit you? Yes? Yes. yes? The problem with our challenges is that we're seeing it from our own perspective. Ano yung sinabi ni, what's his name? Uh, Einstein. Okay? When you face a problem at the level where you met the problem, you won't be able to solve it. You need to see it from a different perspective. Everybody say perspective. Yeah. Once upon a time, I was a student in AIM, and then I would come into a class. Banas na banas ako sa isang class na to because the teacher I didn't like him at all. Okay, and I'd be here sitting in class, and then yung jokes niya ang kokoni o fendo tapos close, no? Ano ba yun? And then, and then here is my seatmate, and she goes, "Ang galing talaga ni Prof." Na patingin mo, ha? Magkapareho ba kami ng professor? Anong pinagkaiba namin between me na walang na tututunan dito sa Prof na to, and this girl who says, "Ang galing talaga ni Prof." Anong pinagkaiba namin? Perspective, yes. Ano yun? Better. Gender. You may be sorry. Hindi ito marini. Oh, anong pinagkaiba ni Edwin, who's not learning so much, and this girl. Anong pinagkaiba? Perspective. I see the person as wala lang, and then here she's seeing so much more than I'm seeing. Si nung luge si Edwin o si classmate. Si Edwin luge. So the problem with problems is we're not a often. We're not able to turn them into opportunities. And the way to turn them into opportunities is to see them from a different perspective. Are you ready to see your challenge in a different perspective? Yes? yes. Before we go there, what I want you to do is right here, right now, where you are seated, how wide you are seated, can you bring to mind that challenge? Maybe it happened in the past two weeks where you were faced with a challenge. Nod your head if you're there. Yes, okay. So go ahead, see that challenge as if you were right there. What ano yung nakikita mo? Can you see some counterparts or maybe your boss? Are you in a meeting? Or maybe you are somewhere else and you're feeling challenged around this situation. So go to that time and place. Can you see it right here in your eyes right now? Yes? How many of you can see it? If you can see it, say yes. Yes. Okay. So right here, right now, see it the way you would see it when you're in the middle of that challenge. 
hear what you're hearing when you're in the middle of that challenge? Are you hearing somebody else's voice? Can you distinguish that voice? Kaninong boses yan? Huwag niyong sabihin. Baka nandito siya. Or is it your own voice who's telling yourself something? Ay, hindi ko kaya to. Ay, baka magkamali ako. Listen to that voice as you're encountering this challenge and feel how you're feeling when you're encountering this challenge. Are you there? If you're there, say yes. Yes. Good. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Everybody, please stand up. Everybody, please stand up. Everybody, again. And shake, shake, shake. Turn to your seat where you were seated a while ago. Go ahead, take a look. And can you see that person who was seated there a while ago, just a few moments ago? Yes? Okay. Guapo o hindi masyado? In that moment where he is challenged, or he or she is challenged, guapo o hindi masyado? Guapo pa rin, sige. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to see it as if you are a reporter like Karen Davila or sino pa ba mga panga Kuya Kim, I don't know what. Michael Fahatin. And you're just going to report objectively. What's the word? What's happening to him and his surroundings. And by the way, you're going to do this no words. You're just going to do it in your mind. Okay? So in your mind, you're going to say, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, mga kapat, uh, kababayan, nakikita natin ngayon itong lalaki na uh, nakaupo at ang sitwasyon niya ay ganito, ganyan. Whatever that is. Quietly. Okay? Just in your mind. Are you with me? Yes? yes. Assume the position of a reporter, a correspondent. Everybody, uh, ano, hold, hold your microphone, your imaginary microphone, and you're speaking to the camera, and you're going to describe... You're going to describe the situation of this man over here. What? Are you with me? Yes? yes? Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale. And with a modulated, imagined voice. You're going to keep quiet, okay? In a modulated, imagined voice, go ahead. Take a few moments to de describe this, this person who, is, who was seated, experiencing that challenge. Describe what he looks like in your mind. Right now. What else? I know you're not Do this for yourselves only. Okay. Just for yourself. Describe what else can you see about him or her? What does he look like? What does she look like? You posture nya. And the people around them, what does he look like? What does she look like? And you're seeing things from an objective point of view one last time. How else do you describe what you're seeing? Are you feeling this? Yes. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Question. OK, you can face me now. You can face me now. Question. Did the person seated feel differently than the person standing? Yes or yes? yes? Question, just in your mind. You don't need to say the words out loud. How does this person, ano yung pinagkaiba of that person seated with the challenge and the correspondent who was just reporting the situation? Ano pinagkaiba? Just bring that to mind. How different are they? What else? How else are they different? Meron? Kung may pinagkaiba, say yes. yes. Tell me, give me one word. What's the difference between the two? Perspective, yes. What else? What else is different between seated and correspondent? Shout it out. Emotional see challenge, yes? What else? What else? Say it out loud. Neutral, more neutral. This person, not so neutral. Okay, what else? What else? Logical, more logical. This person, not very logical. Yes? Yes? That's 
a different perspective. And sino ang mas makakabigay ng solution? Challenge or correspondence? Who has an alternative solution? Meron ba? Yes? Take a deep breath. Exhale. And appear. Appear yourself. Sabihin mo kay correspondent, good job. And then tell yourself as well, thank you, I know. Okay? First C is correspondent, he is objective. That's one perspective. Okay? An alternative perspective. Second C. Kanina, may, may guy or girl na challenge na kaupo siya dito. Person number two, I don't know, malamang some of you won't be able to change seats. If you can, you can do that. If you cannot change seats, just twist yourself this way to indicate that this letter C is your, next slide please, confidant. Okay? Kung kanina nakaupo ka ng derecho, derechong derecho, this time, ididilid mo lang yung pet mo so that you're the confidant. Go ahead, take a seat. Confidant. Konting pihit. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Can I ask you to identify one person that you respect and listen to? Sometimes this will be your former boss. Maybe your teacher. Be confident I'm referring to that person. And I'm going to speak to you as if you are that person. Are you with me? Are you tracking? Yes? yes. So if, you're pro if that person is your professor, you're going to sit in a way like you're a professor. Okay, go ahead. Sit the way you would sit. Confident. Sit the way you would sit. Medyo nakapihit ng konti. Okay? And earlier, there was a person who was challenged over here. So go ahead. Listen to kung ano yung sinasabi ni ni challenge confident okay confident listen to him ano yung mga sinasabi niya ranting go ahead listen to the ranting and then confident if you were right here in this cinema right here right now anong kulay ng suot mo you got the memo <laughs> naka beach ka rin <laughs> What does he typically or she typically wear in a conversation like this? Go ahead, imagine that. Nakasando, pwede? Sige. So now, confident, narinig mo kung anong nirarant ni challenge. Okay. So now, confident, from your own perspective, whether you're a professor, a boss, a relative, tito, tita, dad, pwede? From your perspective, knowing this person for so long, and from your perspective, from your experience, can you face this person and give him messages that would be useful for him or her? Okay, just in your mind, you don't need to say the words. Can you give him or her messages na makakatulong sa kanya para he can rise up from the challenge. Go ahead, confident. Tell him or her what she needs to hear. Just in your mind. Go ahead, use your hands. And go ahead, give it to that person. And give that person a high five. And tell that person, magaling ka pa rin. And sagutin mo rin, thank you, I know. <laughs> Ikaw pa rin yan. Confident. Meron? May nabigay na gift? Yes? Oh, parang isa lang siya. <laughs> Ikaw lang. <laughs> Did you receive a gift from the confidant? Yes? yes? Mamaya, we'll bring it all together. We'll bring it all together. Okay? Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. The first C, different perspective, is the correspondent. He is objective. Everybody say objective. The second C is a confidant. Ang nangyari doon is kumukuha ka ng perspective of somebody that you respect and would listen to. Because magkaiba yung perspective mo, you're a supervisor, a manager, a leader, 
kumpara sa perspective niya. Because okay. he's your father or he's your, he knows you as a good student or whatever, or you're a great employee or a leader. He knows you differently, therefore his perspective, which you were guessing or which we bring to mind, is different from the usual perspective of this person. Are you with me? Yes? Yes. Is this working so far for people? Yes? Para mahina. Tapigin mo ang katabloy mo. Sabihin mo sa kanya, gumagana ba, pre? Sabihin mo sa kanya, paganahin natin. Pre, baka naman Mars ang kailangan natin mahanap. Okay? Third, okay? The third perspective is the... Read it out loud. Centenarian. Question. Pag 80, 90 years old na siya, tingin mo, pinong problema pa rin niya yan? Hindi yeah. na. Nalampasan na niya yun. Would you agree? Yes? Yes. So, from the centenarian perspective, oh, this time, kanina nakapihit tayo ng ganito. Ngayon, ipihit natin ng ganito. Everybody, on your seats, go to the other side of the seat. Go to the other side of the seat. Pihit sa kabila. This is the centenarian. Sino ka nga? Si? Centenarian. Lolo, Lola, you are 80, 90 years old. Tignan mo yung bata. Ayan, nasa inspiro siya. Okay, hindi mo alam kung ilang years na siya dyan. Ayan. Uh, 60 years na siya sa inspiro. <laughs> Nandiyan pa rin siya, no? Okay? At nakita mo siya dyan. Meron siyang pinoproblema. Yung kanyang challenge. Are you with me? Yes? From your perspective, 30, 40, 50 years later, meron ka ng apo, may retirement fund ka na, yung mga anak mo, professionals na rin. At titignan mo yung pinoproblema nitong tao nung 2024. Can you take a look at her or him? From the 80, 90, or 100 year old version of you, what would you tell this person? Go ahead, just in your mind. Okay, and tell that person, Galingan mo. Go ahead, say that, tell that person, Galingan mo. And give that person a high five and tell that person, Magaling ka naman talaga. Yeah. And give yourself a hand. <laughs> now, let's bring it all home. From the challenge perspective kanina, now you've been presented with three different other perspectives from the correspondent, and then the second one was confidant, and the third one was centenarian. Okay, can I ask you to sit uh, center, like the way kanina, as if you were the challenged person. Are you there? Yes? <sighs> Go back to that time and place where you felt challenged. And this time, go ahead, take a look at the reporter and listen to the reporter. And the way he is different than you. What can you learn from the reporter, the correspondent? You got it? Take a look at the confidant. This confidant, Anong kulay ng suot niya? Nakasando dito. <laughs> Sino pa ba? Okay. Anong kulay ng suot niya? <laughs> and go ahead, listen. As if you could hear the voice. As if you could see the face of your uh, confidant. Go ahead, listen. Receive. And meron siyang gift para sa'yo. Do you remember what it is? Yes? Go ahead, use your hands and arms. Go ahead, receive the gift from your confidant and bring it to yourself and appreciate what this gift means to you. 
if you feel this gift is pang, you can bring it to your heart or you can put it in your pocket. Go ahead, receive that gift and say the words out loud. Thank you, confidant. Thank you. One more time, say the words out loud. Thank you, confidant. Thank you. And then here is Lolo or Lola. Manupo. Go ahead, Manupo. And meron siyang gusto sabihin sa yon. 30, 40 years after 2024. Go ahead, receive. And nakipag mano sa sayo at nakapag appear sa sayo. Sabi niya sa yo, ang galing mo. And then you respond, thank you, I know. Go ahead, appear. And tell yourself, thank you, I know. How many of you got messages that would be useful for you? Say, I. I. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Appreciate it, receive it, make it yours, make it special. And in the next many moments, you're imagining yourself being back in that challenging situation, this time with more resources, with more insight, with better perspective. Do you feel it? Yes. Do you feel how different challenge was compared to this person now with additional resources? Do you feel it? Yes. And can you imagine how you will manage things next time you are in that challenging situation? What are you like? Describe yourself. Just in your mind. How different are you now because of that shift in perspective? And imagine how you would carry yourself in that challenging situation. Imagine how different your words are. Imagine your facial expression when you're in that challenging situation, now equipped with more resources. Are you there? and know that this is already in you. Bring your hands to your heart and tell yourself, this is already in me. This is already in me. Tell yourself, I am already this person. I am already this person. And whisper it to yourself whatever message that you want to whisper to yourself. And give yourself a high five and tell each person, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Turn to somebody beside you and tell that person, you got it. Turn to another person and tell that person, I've got it too. And give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. In this session, I wanted to focus on you. Because your own growth will help other people grow. Would you agree? Yes? yes. When you go back to office on Monday or mamaya, and then you're carrying yourself differently, some people will say, Uy, but parang iba si Sog ngayon. Iba si Mars ngayon. And that's because you've changed. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Sabi mo sa kanya, you've changed. And then tell that person, keep the change. <laughs> keep the change. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you use this for your people? You just ask them a, a simple question. For the reporter, you ask them, you, you ask your person. Would it be useful for you if you use this on them? Yes? Okay? Simple lang. Okay? Okay, tapos later on, after niya mag tayo nga tayo. Tignan mo yung taong yun. Okay? Tignan mo siya. Anong itsura niya? Tapos magsasabi niya, ay, pangit pala niya pag nag <laughs> And then just this shift is already a blessing. It's a blessing. Say, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Because this person has been trapped in his own perspective. You've experienced that. Would you, did you? Yes? Just tonight? Iba na yung perspective niya. Ang tatanin mo lang, what does he look like from the outside? 
second person. So first person was the correspondent, the second person was the confidant. Tanong mo siya, sino ang idol mo? Si Eras? Ano pa niya? Swifty? Anong sasabihin ni Taylor Swift dyan sa rant mo? Ganun lang yun. Sa kanya naman gagaling, ay, ano ba sasabihin? Ga- Gary? Gary? Nasa ka? Are you there? Uh, anong sasabihin ni Taylor tungkol sa rant mo? She would probably sing, you need to calm down. Oh, di ba? Different perspective na agad. Good job. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. For the confidant, you just ask, what would your idol or what would your, uh, the person that you look up to, what would he tell that person na nagnanan? Are you with me? Yes? Yes. And for the centenarian, tatanoy mo lang siya. Kunyari, tingin mo, buhay ka, sa, sa rant mong yan, tingin mo, 10 years from now, buhay ka ba? <laughs> Siyempre, gusto niya, buhay pa niya siya, di ba? Tingin mo, pag 80 years old ka na, will that still matter? Malamang hindi na. Anong sasabihin ng 80 years old, 80-year-old self mo? Sarili mo. Anong sasabihin niya? That's it! Quest, that's it, pansit! Turn to a person beside you. And tell that person, kaya mo yan. Yeah. Dahil nagawa mo na yan. Okay? Give, give the person a high five. Give, turn to the person beside you. Give that person a high five. And tell that person, good job. And give yourself a hand. Meron, may nakuha. Let, let's bring this to ano, no? So go ahead, uh, hold the hands of one partner. One, two, three, hold hands with one partner. Sige, ito dalawa talagang LDR talaga kayo, no? Apat na hukuan, nakaganon sila, mga kaibigan. Sige, effort, okay? And uh, I'll give you two minutes, okay? Uh, share with the person what you gained from that exercise. Partner A, ikaw mauna mag-share and go, share. What did you gain? Go, go, go. you will do from here on. I will be more kind. I will be more courageous. I will text my mother. I will call my father. Whatever that is. Go ahead. Tell your partner kung ano yung gagawin ninyo because of this. Go ahead. Tell your partner. Declare your action. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. Give, makipagkamay ka sa partner mo. And tell that person, sinabi mo yan. Sabi mo sa kanya, ipanotaryo natin yan. Thank you so much. How many of you are blessed? Can I? Yeah, give yourselves a hand. Thank you so much. It is a blessing for me to serve you. If any of you are interested to learn more coaching techniques, uh, follow me on Facebook. Yan. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, um, LinkedIn. You can take a photo of this. And how many of you want a copy of this book? Yeah. Yeah. Brian, come over. Come on, da- came on down, Brian. Came on down, Brian. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Nasa ka na? Ayan. Came on down, Brian. Sino pa ba? Dal- dalawa, da- dalawa ba? Dalawa, ah, dalawa pala sila. Sige, go. Dalawa pala kayo. Kaya pala. Parang feeling ko. Da- o, oh, takbo, takbo. Sige. Oh, Palakpahan naman natin sila, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much, big man. Hi. My name is Edwin. You are? Brian. Oi, I recognize your voice. This is my friend, Rudy. And your friend, your name is? I'm Rudy. I'm Rudy. Can we give them a hand for their energy and participation? Okay. Pwede ba? May music pa tayo dyan? Music, mga kaibigan. Ay, picture daw. Picture daw. Picture. Picture. Nasaan? Ay, ay, ay. Award natin. Ay, ay. Ay, thank you. Uh, The other guy over here who wanted a book. I want to honor you for the... Bravado for the confidence to ask for this book. Thank you so much. Ang name mo is? Curvy. 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 Nag-meet na ba tayo na? Hindi pa. Kanina lang. Kanina lang. Okay, can we give them a hand? Let's go!
Picture! Picture! Okay. Ay, ito na, ito na. Tell me, thank, thank you. you. I can sign your books later on. Right, thank thank you. you. This is uh, Breakthrough Tips from a Life Coach. Uh, there are many tips on how to be a life coach and what you can learn from life coaching. Oh, may picture ba? Okay, over there. One, two, three. Ay, hindi, may maganda tayong picture. Okay. Ito, naka-simangot. Okay? Everybody, simangot. Simangot. Lapit, lapit tayo. Lapit, lapit. Simangot. Everybody, simangot. Okay. <laughs> Tapos, turn it around. Turn it around. Ayan. And ngiti. Ngiting panalo. Give them a hand, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you've been blessed, go ahead, send me a message. Thank you. I love it. And then how many of you want a copy of the book as well? Can I see a raise of hands? Okay, over there on the screen is a number. It says, I can give you a copy of the e-book, the e-version of that book. It was a different title back then, and yet essentially it's the same. Send your name and email address to my team at this number. And we will send you a copy of the book. Okay, Bayan, yes? Yay! You know, in this book, oy, this book has saved lives. When I was in an AIM, nung sikap, uh, ano, um, nung sikap na, ano, there was a girl who approached me and she, she mismo nagsabi sa akin, Coach, you don't know me, I know you. Nag-order ako ng book ninyo. And your book saved my life. True story yan, nung sikap, just, the, just last October, totoo yan. So if you want a copy of the book, maybe it's not for you. Or, may, or maybe it is. Maybe it's for somebody else. Go ahead, read it, and then see what you can learn from it, and then pass it on to somebody who might need it. Okay, Bayan? Yes! Take a deep breath, everybody. Inhale and exhale. I might have gone to a, a bit longer than uh, expected, and yet this is my way that I serve you. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Best friend na kita. Thank you so much for the opportunity, Romel. Uh, Leah, thank you for sa, uh, for for taking care of uh, of this of me. I dream of more and more coaches doing this work on themselves and on the people that they can serve. May you have been blessed internally and also pass it on. Let it overflow abundantly. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Soriano.